Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. uh, she is so influential on social media in the world of music, and now she's dipping her toes in terms of influence into the world of politics. So she uh, she has um, uh, millions upon millions of followers. Uh, and uh, a, a few days ago, she or yesterday rather, she posted on Instagram uh, that she as that we, we've got it right there. As much as I have uh, in, liked her in the past, would like to continue voting for women in office. I cannot support Mar Marsha Blackburn. Her voting record in Congress appalls and terrifies me. For context, Marsha Blackburn is her representative in Tennessee, her home state. The Republican. The Republican, yeah. exactly. And uh, she, uh, you know, she was born in Pennsylvania, but spent a great deal of time in Tennessee. And so she is using her social media platform to get people out to vote, to register to vote in these midterm elections. And of course, the uh, so she's pushing people to vote Democratic, which means the Republicans have had something to say. Donald Trump has come out and said that he likes her music about 25% less than he did before, and actually challenged um, uh, Taylor Swift, saying she probably doesn't know anything about her hmm. politics and how she's voted anyway. Mike Huckabee says this would be a problem if 13-year-olds could vote. Uh, yeah. A lot of people seem to forget that she might have had 13-year-old fans back in the day, but a lot of those people have since grown up. Well, yeah, let's just give a timeline for this. So Tim McGraw, the song that really uh, catapulted her to fame, came out in 2006. So by my math, those 13-year-olds in 2006 are 25. They're right. fully capable of voting. I think what Taylor Swift was really trying to do was get people to register to vote, and the deadline to do that is today. So by getting people out to register, hopefully she's uh, really spurring and uh, stoking the fire for a a lot of people who perhaps wouldn't have registered. In fact, I think the voter registration numbers jumped. They uh, did. And you can't necessarily connect the right. two of them, but there is a correlation. Yeah. Well, she and took a stance. She took a stance politically on where she stands. And, and politicians this is, don't like that, They though. don't. And this is the first time she's done this. And we have to remember that she also comes from a country background. Yes. Many country fans are you know, come very from Republican states. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is a very divisive issue. She did kind of tread into the fire here. Yeah. But we have, we've seen this before with other stars. Remember the Dixie Chicks yeah. when they mm -hmm. came out and they came uh, out against Bush and what happened to them? She, they, well, some, got di they got Dixie Chicked. They really did. Mm -hmm. But sometimes there are repercussions that come with your actions. But we've also learned, like with Kaepernick, for example, sometimes you have to stand for what you believe in. For sure. And sometimes, yes, there are repercussions. Yeah. Well, but I, I what's the point of living if you can't do that? I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, everything in her career has been been properly curated and, and, and managed, and I wouldn't be surprised if she looked at it now and said, I think I'm too big to fail at this point. Yeah. I think I'm big enough to be able to take a hit politically because this matters to me now, whereas perhaps a few years ago, a few cycles ago, I wouldn't have taken the risk because I didn't want to alienate my fans. Right. Well, and, and let's also remember, she's not just in the country scene anymore. No. She's, like, she's, she's, she's mainstream, yeah. right? 